Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler, and we're going to get right into it. We are going to talk about the Packers' failure to deal with a bunch formation. And we've talked about this in the past, when yep. bunch formation is when there's a three receivers yep. all, uh, all in the same area. And I'll just get it set up and then you can take it from there. We've, okay. we've sort of highlighted who the main characters in this play yep. are going to be. I in like this case, character. this is Anquan Bolden, the wide receiver, yep. and this is MD Jennings. So Bolden, they start out like this, Bolden goes in motion, here he is. Then we've got, uh, you know, we've got this Williams. guy running right in there. This is Vernon Davis. He runs corner there. Tremon covers him. Mm -hmm. Hyde kind of hangs here. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, he rushes that, and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So um, why don't you go ahead and show what Bolden does and how all these guys react to everything. And see, and what we would do is the, the traditional safety would say, we got a bunch look. If we're going to stay in man to man, we got to get a, a safety net call to let everybody know we're going to go to a combination zone. It seems like they got that covered down pretty good. You think but, they stayed in a zone, right? Yeah, because they, as, as, as Colin called 81 over, mm -hmm. the guys gestured to, to go to, they made some kind of signal maybe to get out of man and go to some, somewhat of a zone. Some, some, some defense they had yeah. for bunch formation. Right. So you would seem to think that that's fine. And the reason why offenses do this so you don't play a lot of bump and run because right. you get picked. Right. It gives them better spacing. Now, when, you know, Matthews is going to be gone, but whenever Vernon Davis, who's very hot, you know, he took a lot. Matter of fact, he took two guys. Now, when Bolton came up, he broke his route uh, right off of 85 and came in here. And the problem was 24 came up. He was about right there because he took number 10. He was in out. the right spot. He was perfect. Bush. He was fine. Played. This guy was right now, there waiting right. for him. And Brad Jones stepped up to take the back. Right. So now you have a voided area. You have a voided area right here. Say 59 right there. Now this guy has no work. Okay. Safety is deep where it's supposed to be. Yeah. He, uh, he actually man -man comes over here because he's got to take... Da he's got to take Vernon Davis in case he goes deep. Right. Absolutely. So, and these guys are gone. So now, MD Jennings has no work. But what happens... When, you know, Anquan Bolden came in the middle, he was wide open in the middle because when Brad Jones stepped up because he had the back, M.D. Jennings was covering nobody. But as you alluded to, maybe he was spying the quarterback. Yeah, because he quarterback came, up came out just and a little bit right there. And when he came out, he voided his own. He was wide open in the middle. Now, what should happen, if, this, if they ran this play in the 90s against our defense, we would make what we call a pasta technique. A pasta technique means... George Coons or Brian Williams, George Coons is inside, get the first guy inside. Brian Williams get the first guy in the flat. And Doug Evans get the first guy deep. I would get the first deep inside. So I would have took Anquan Bolin. And Darren Sharper or Robinson, Eugene Robinson, he has no work over here. He would have been driving that too and been aggressive on the interception. Right. You got to have a safety net call to be aggressive. Otherwise, you just get real passive. And it's possible that they did have that, and Jennings just didn't get over. It he, could. It looked like he just kind of got stuck in no man's it, land. No, motion to, they made the signal to go to some. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't do that. Maybe he back. didn't get it. He probably yeah. didn't get it. But you know, so if. If it goes right, then he comes over and he's waiting on Bolden it's a pick. here. It's a pick. Now, that whole spy thing probably doesn't really make sense because the way they rushed mm -hmm. was a very contained yes. rush. You know? Yeah, because Dayton Jones, you got Jones and you got Mike Neal, they, the two you know, athletic guys that don't get out of their lanes. Yeah, they, they kept their out. lanes. Yep. Jones kind of just hung here, yep. you know. For the screen. So, so there really wasn't an escape lane, he didn't really need right. to be shadowing Kaepernick there. Mm -hmm. And boy, was he wide open. You he know? was wide, there was nobody around him. And if MDGs would have been aggressive, he could have intercepted that. Let's talk one last thing before we yeah. finish this play. Hyde, you know, it also looked like Hyde could have come over and taken him, but you think mm -hmm. that would have violated the, the See, rules to this, the zone? Yeah, because he got this flat area. Because if this guy, 10, comes in and goes back out, he'd have to take him. Okay. So yeah. more than likely he was okay standing here because it yeah. looked like, oh, boy, he should have followed him. Yeah, and if he followed, which is fine. Now, you know, MD Jennings, he can be more aggressive to the quarterback. Mm -hmm. But it's just hard to say who had what once you get down the line. But, again, 
you got to make the hand gestures. You go in the zone. You see the Dallas Cowboys touch the helmet. Yeah. These hand signals, they got to go all the way across. It can't just be two guys. Right. Otherwise, you avoid the zone. Okay, great. And then we're going to look at another uh, misplay in that game in the secondary. Okay, with the second play, there's not as much um, – uh, indecision. I mean, we know what went wrong in this play, yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so as you see, it's a um, two wide receiver set. Vernon Davis, the tight end, is here. Yeah. This tight end goes in motion, mm -hmm. stops right there. And then at the snap of the ball, he runs here. And go ahead and show us yeah, exactly what they, how they react. And it's a, it's a five-man pressure because high comes on a blitz. Right. So he's going to be gone. Now, here's the thing that's kind of puzzling me, because Vernon Davis, who attracts a lot of attention, he just kind of goes down here to kind of clear it out. And it seemed like everybody was rotating. And then M.D. Jennings came down, which is fine. He goes to the middle there. There's someone there like a one-high um, safety. And 37, can you draw a 37 right, right in here? Yeah, yeah, he drifts. All the way in there, and Anquan Bolin just came down, ran like a little, and stopped. It's wide open, and the quarterback drifts here and made it and threw it to him. I, it's almost as if Shields was thinking he had to cover 85 and the post. He's supposed to 37. He should be here. You can't never line up inside of that. This guy's uncovered. He could have just stood up and threw it to him and ran out. Now, this, this is what we call a mental mistake, not so much as a breakdown. It's a mental mistake, alignment, assignment, and execute. Mm -hmm. So you got to know your assignment and the alignment. You got to know where to line up first. And, again, they got nice pressure coming. Yeah. You know, you got they flushed coming. Him. Yeah, they, they flushed him, him out. A little bit. And, you know, he, come, he couldn't believe it. He was like, well, we're not, you got two guys open. But – Shield was so far inside, it was like a wall right here. He was wide open. And if the, the pass was better, it was a touchdown. Yeah. But he threw it kind of back shoulder, assuming that Shields was going to come off. Right. But I and was so just puzzled by we that. We talked about, you know, the safeties having a problem, but this was not a problem for Jennings. He, he's got to come out here and sort yeah. of be the flat in case Absolutely. the Absolutely, because 49 releases. can chip and come in the flat. Right, right. So, so he was all right. But... Why this is, he drifts I, out into that area? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. And, I, and here's the last thing I want to say about the safeties, what can make them better. When it's man-to-man, -man, keep your eyes on the man. When it's zone, you can look in the backfield and look at the quarterback. Right. But they're doing vice versa. Yeah. So they got to work on not watching in the backfield when it's man-to-man. -man. If it's a zone, that's fine, but you got to line up correctly. Mm -hmm. And that's what's hurting the, all the defensive backs at this particular time. And the last one I want to talk about, that fourth, the third the third and fourth play that we talked about, and it was a play by Vernon Davis, came in like he was blocking and he leaked out. Mm -hmm. and you pointed it out, and Bush kind of lost him in the trash. Again, keeping your eyes on your man. Right. He doesn't. Makes he waits too difference. long to follow him. Yes. If you got your guy, you, yes. you follow him. Correct? And the coaches, I'm sure the coaches are telling these guys that. Yeah. But when you're out there, it's a little bit different. So yeah. But in this case, this case, that's just – Sloppy. It's kind of embarrassing because you just can't leave a guy wide open. Yeah. And it's hard to beat anybody giving up 400 yards. But this kind of stuff that fans may not see on the television that they, we see here, and I'm sure that the Packers have made these corrections, but the Redskins will see this kind of stuff and they, they can exploit it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, thanks for joining us. Hope uh, you enjoyed the uh, breakdown of the plays. Yeah, and again, thank you for Cynix Ballester, own and operator, and Classic Lanes for supporting, and again, the the uh, Salvation Army. As a matter of fact, I'll be in Madison September 17th. All right, and we'll see you next week.